Hi everyone! Um, today I will show you how to build a really simple downloader and really simple parsing functions using Python. As an example, we will uh, take a website. Uh, I picked xkcd.com. So, uh, what are we going to do? We're going to retrieve the HTML code. Uh, we are going to parse it, we are going to get the title of the comic, the comic itself, the picture, and probably the, the capture, which we can see here. So, <clears throat> the main URL of this website is this one. If you'll get, um, if you'll try to reach like next, previous, and so on and so forth, you'll see that each comic has specific number, so you can access like the first comic that there was and the 100th, yeah, nice. So let's let's move on. So let's create a new file. Let me save it on the desktop and let's call it like a simple parser or whatever. So for these purposes, we are going to use the library from Python, a module called URL libs. So first, let's import it. URL lib. Good. So, um, the way I thought about that is um, let's make it like two classes. We'll have one which will handle the downloading and the other one which will be specific for our XKCD parsing stuff. So, that's why like let's make this abstraction. And in Python, if you want to have a class, the syntax is really simple. Like, you just follow me. We'll call our class on G. What am I writing? Downloader. Good. So, a good practice is like to have classes with an uppercase, or if you want to have more, if you have more words there, use camel case. And also a good practice to leave some kind of documentation here, like what what is this class doing? What is it for? So let's write that this class is um, to retrieve um, okay, HTML code and also binary files like pictures, I don't know, PDFs, can be anything like binary stuff uh, from a specific website. Good. So first what a class needs is a constructor. In Python, um, a constructor like if you want to declare one, it will have uh, the init function. So first, of course, you need to have self as a parameter, like it's a pointer to your object. And also, what you would normally need is the URL, like of the website where from you want to retrieve it. So let's write it like self URL equals URL. Let's have like uh, let's create here a variable which will keep like the contents so far let's make it empty string and also <coughs> um, yeah I think that's it so far and the next one let, let's have a download function how are we going to download it so first what we need is self let's make it like that so far so um, in order to use URL lib, it's actually really simple. You're just saying like URL lib you dot URL open, and you specify the URL. What you will get as a response is going to be a network object, um, which you can, which from you can read, get some information about the headers and stuff like that. So let's create a variable. Like, let's call it browser and URL lib dot URL open and let's specify the URL so it's going to be self URL so why do we need like this because we can instantly uh, take this what, what we get and just write read and we're going to get the contents instantly but let's check uh, the response that we get um, because uh, it can be 404 or I don't know any any problems on the server side on the client side 
So that's why usually it's a, bra a good practice to say that browser get code and to check whether it's 200 okay. Yeah? So if response is not, okay, let's make it like that, is not 100, then we will just return nothing. And we will have nothing in the contents, like nothing was downloaded. But it, if everything is okay, like you have, you could have made it like vice versa. We can make it like also like that. You can say if the response is 200, then what we're going to do, we're going to set the self contents variable equal to browser dot read. I think that's enough for the first part of the video. In the next part of the video, we'll think out, think about like how we'll get the binary files. Like, should we make it a separate function, so or maybe do it somehow differently? That's why. Check me out uh, in the next part.